The nuclear ship Savannah is a unique, one-of-a-kind historic vessel docked at Pier 13 in Canton. When the ship visited the Port of Baltimore in the 1960s, Helen Bentley filmed a report for the port that built a city and state television series about the nuclear ship and its purpose for coming here and touring the world. Well, do you know anything about the NS Savannah? Well, I know it was a ship for the Atoms of Peace program because when most people think about the atom, they think about like bombs and Hiroshima and atom bombs. So President, President Eisenhower decided to make a ship saying, hey, we can use atoms for good. You know, we can use nuclear power for good. The Savannah was built, uh, it was proposed in the mid-1950s as a way for the United States to show the peoples of the world, all around the world, that nuclear technology could be used peacefully. You know, the, the U.S. Was the, is the only country that's ever dropped atomic bombs in wartime. And President Eisenhower, who was a general during World War II, uh, was very concerned about the spread of nuclear weapons technology. But he also saw the tremendous benefits that nuclear technology could give to mankind. And he really wanted to, uh, to explore how nuclear technology could serve man well, serve humankind well. Uh, he made a speech to the United Nations in 1953 that's called Atoms for Peace. And a lot of what he spoke about then still resonates with us today. Uh, and Savannah was a project he proposed then in the 1950s to, to take this idea of using nuclear technology peacefully, putting it on a civilian merchant ship and sailing it around the world and letting people all around the world come and see it. So Savannah still has its nuclear power plant on board. It hasn't run since 1970. The fuel's been out since 1971. And then my job and the job of my staff is to, is to manage that power plant uh, in storage and ultimately to remove it from the ship. When I started with the Savannah in 1993, the ship was pretty much a dead ship. Mm -hmm. And today it's very much alive. This is the ship's bridge. This is the control center for the ship. and. Uh, you know, it's one of the more historically accurate places on the ship. Uh, it hasn't really been touched since 1970 when the ship stopped service. And, and really, you know, it, it looks almost identical to the day in 1964 when Helen Bentley was first here to, uh, to interview Captain McMichael. What is a scram? Well, the word scram, of course, uh, has uh, a rather ominous connotation when you're dealing with the nuclear business, but actually it was, it's a holdover from back in the early days in Chicago when they had the first uh, sustained uh, chain reaction. The interesting part about the Savannah is even though the ship was built in the late 50s, uh, the layout of the uh, control room and the uh, ergonomics and human factors are all very similar to what they have in the commercial nuclear plants out there now. What would they be doing like in this room? You would normally have approximately three people in the room. Two of them would be your reactor operators and they would actually be the one, two of them responsible for the boards, understanding what what's going on with the reactor, the uh, auxiliary systems, all the systems it takes to support the reactor and to keep the water clean, which is extremely important. And also another operator looking over here at the secondary systems. When we say secondary, that's all of the systems it takes for the ship's propulsion, making the electricity. So you had two operators and then one typically a supervisor that was sitting back and coordinating the different things going on particularly when you got into evolutions of when you're starting up or shutting down. So working on the NS Savannah, what has been the most interesting part? Mm, uh, just working on a ship, not many people have the chance to do that. Um, it's uh, very interesting, a lot of uh, real world practical knowledge uh, that I would not get uh, in college. In the area that you work in, like what is like all the documents and stuff about? Well, yeah, we'll get a box and it has like manuals, reports, or chart paper, and we will rank, we'll take like the chart, chart paper out and then like put it in a pile, and then the manuals and reports, and then we'll put them in, and then we'll like document saying it's in cabinet six, ca like it's in like cabinet six drawer one or drawer two, and then we'll write them on these post-it notes. Like it says chart paper, and it goes all the way down, and then we know all the chart papers in all these drawers. All the stuff that you work with, like the documents and stuff, like what's the purpose of doing them? Well, it's pretty old. It's from the beginning. It's from the f 
the ship first started sailing. So if they need to come back down saying, hey, we need papers from like, for about this part of the ship, we'll be like, okay, you can just come down here and go in cabinet six. And we'll just like, oh, okay, so it's not, you don't have to go through a whole bunch of boxes, a whole bunch of papers to figure out where it is. It's like makes it, we're organizing the chaos. Do you like your experience on the NS Savannah? Yeah, so, yes, ma'am. I learned a lot over here. I was nervous at first. But when you know and know what to do, I think it's easy. What is a scram? Well, the word scram, of course, uh, has uh, a rather ominous connotation when you're dealing with the nuclear business.